Shalom Aleichem, Assalamu Alaikum. Irini Mazisu, Pax Wobiskam, and peace be unto you. Let's look at some talits together. These are mostly Yemenite or Yemenite style talits. So this was a custom order. Someone had ordered a custom uh, black talit with uh, gold accents, I think gold and silver. So that's on Pinterest. You can see the link up there. There's a website called The Shofar Man. This picture is more detailed. I think it's the same talit. So you can see it is all black, which, again, like I mentioned in the previous video, uh, talits were black, not white, mostly black, the majority. And they only adopted the white talits because it's a cheaper material. But the black wool, specifically, the, the black fine wool was very expensive and remain so today. So next image. It's a nicer picture of a black talit. This is a very nice one. It looks like a very large one as well. You can see the, the kippah and possibly I think it's a carrying bag. And the, the tzitzit are just all white. So not exactly fulfilling the the explicit Torah command to have a blue thread, whether it's in the, the fringe itself or the, the garment. I do believe it's in the fringe. It should be there anyhow. I saved this image already, but uh, yeah, I did. Oh no, that's a different one. Okay. In any case, we'll just move on. Let's see what's in the, the next tab. Okay, this is uh, not to do with Talits, but it is a remnant of our previous video. Yemeni Jews, uh, they were shocked by their uh, way of life. So the first photos of Yemen's Jews stunned the Jewish world. They were it's like, uh, wow, they're so much different than us culturally, uh, culturally perhaps, in 1901, because uh, the adoption of European fashions, perhaps, and customs over time. This is not Yemeni, but it does look kind of biblical, doesn't it? It actually comes from the Ashana, Ashan, Ashaninka Kitharensi which is a, a American Indian or more accurately Aboriginal group. So, but it is a very nice garment. It reminds me of uh, biblical talits. Okay, so that, that's a, another uh, interesting garment there. Interesting fashion. Here's another talit, but it is purple and gold. Very beautiful, probably one of the most beautiful talits I've ever seen. I know I saved that already, and you could actually buy this. Uh, I think it does cost upwards of 300 to 400 I think it's U.S. dollars. And there's the PayPal tab. I'm not going to do that there, but let's look at the, the Jews in Yemen. Okay, so... This is kind of an extension of the previous video a little bit. So people are saying, oh, the way the women dress up in Yemen, the Yemeni Jews, you would be confused. And you would think they were Muslims at first sight. But the men too, except for the, uh, the peyot. I think it's called the peyot. The, the side locks. There. Okay. Okay, I'm going to close that one too. Uh, next, Kosher Delight. Okay, I'm not sure. Yemeni Jews, Tamani is the... So that, that name Taman is actually in a lot of prophecy. But that refers to Yemen. And it's referring to a future Yemen which did not have a Jewish population as we now have today. No Jewish population exists in Yemen. Okay, um, and we did read about all that. Interesting. I think this is a, a regurgitation of a repetition of what we read in the previous video, which was almost about half an hour or so. So we have about five tabs remaining. And there's a company, they're not sponsoring this video or paying me. I just 
stumbled upon them uh, when I was searching talits, and they have very unique looking talits, and they're called Gabrielli talit, and they're based in uh, Israel. And they have a video there, you can watch that in your own time. But I just wanted to view some unique looking talits. Um, and there's another and there's another website as well. Again, they're not being sponsored by any of these websites, but that's an interesting one. Very like uh, GQ-esque, modern looking, like it even looks fashionable. Kind of like a boho, hipster kind of look almost, you could say. And then the next three tabs, these are all hand woven. Um, okay, so this is just looking through that there and then you've got two more tabs gray with gold on blue okay this is going to be interesting so there's a lot of different let's just call them colorways like the, like people use the, that term with with sneakers with footwear so that is an interesting look that is an interesting uh very interesting pattern and yeah that almost looks kind of wintry to me looks a little festive the last tab here we're going to look at uh, before we go to the this shawl is a, is a Yemeni shawl, Yemeni styled shawl. Uh, it was said to be made in Yemen, but uh, uh, there's different ideas of whether that's true or not. Here's here's the black one, the Elia it's called, silver and black. You can see depending on the size, it can range between 262 US dollars to as much as 411. So this is closer to the, the traditional uh, talib as was done in ancient times and is even preserved in a lot of biblical movies. You see the Pharisees wearing a black talib. They're not wearing a white one. That's kind of funny how they get that part right. I'll zoom in on that. And this shawl that I'm wearing, uh, this I guess we'll call it a talit, uh, comes from Nisba shawls, and they're based in Canada. So they did a very good job with this and very reasonable price. I think it was less than $100 or so. Um, so you can look them up, N-I-S-B-A. Let me just type it up and show you the address. So this is their website. Uh, as you can see, they're taking a break, but uh, that is their website if you want to order one. This is not, again, I'm not being sponsored or paid by these people. I'm only uh, trying to help you out if you're looking for something that is affordable. And these are the last images remaining. I'm going to show, go through those. So this is a Yemenite Jew. We used this for a, uh, a thumbnail of the previous video from 1914. The next image is Yemenite Jews studying the Torah in Sana. You can see they're wearing the phylacteries, or at least the head one anyway. I don't see the hand one. Most likely they are wearing it. And notice the talits are dark, most likely black. Okay, and that's the purple talit. And this is a family being moved to Israel from Yemen and that's all for this video so thank you very much for your time that's shopping for talibs